Meet the WZ-112-2, a Chinese heavy tank. It combines the best features of the IS-3 with an innovative frontal armor shape. The IS-3 pike nose is great at making shells bounce, but the IS-3 can't side scrape. Should you turn the hull, the shell-proof frontal armor will lose its main advantage. The shape of the WZ-112-2 glacis plate is more simple. It's just good old and trusty sloped armor. But look at its thickness, 140 millimeters. It's still great at shrugging off shells. And that's what happens when you side scrape. It doesn't become weaker at all. The effective armor value increases, making the tank even tougher. That's one example of the simpler, the better. The WZ-112-2 possesses a thick front, which allows for side scraping at any scale level. But that's not all. Look at these sides, 100 millimeter thick steel plates. Now you have something to block enemy rounds. Besides side scraping, you can reverse side scrape too. Some may ask, what about the turret? Because if the turret is easily penetrated, even the perfect hull can't help you much. Well, let the numbers speak for themselves. 195 millimeters of frontal armor, 120 millimeters at the sides, 100 millimeters at the rear. Also, look at the turret shape and draw your own conclusions. The WZ-112-2 is the perfect choice for those who would like a well-armored vehicle. Those who enjoy shooting won't be disappointed either. The gun characteristics aren't as great as those of the IS-3's top gun, but they are still pretty decent. Standard shell penetration is 215 millimeters, and the average alpha is 400 HP. All in all, the WZ-112-2 has a solid hull, a reliable turret, and a good gun. But what about maneuverability? Well, it's faster than the IS-3 in every way, including top speed, traverse speed, and even turret traverse speed. The WZ-112-2 is a great combination of thick armor and a powerful gun. The heavy tank essentials.